So just got through security and uh, got the passport and we're on our way to first international competition ever in Taiwan. Hop of the pond. So after a couple of canceled flights and the always entertaining pole transport, I finally landed in Taiwan. And all that traveling makes a guy hungry. So first order of business, I got a munch. Then I can catch up with the others. So once I got to the hotel and caught up with a couple of other U.S. pole vaulters, Nate Richards and Andy Rhodes Jonagan, and all the other athletes I hadn't met yet from all over the world, we got on the bus and went to the host school. Turns out we're actually here for the Nantau Cup International Pole Vault Championship. The halls of this place were lined with pics of some of the past pole vault greats who had competed here at the start of their careers. The kids at the school even had a dope welcome ceremony, like talent show thing for us as well. favorite so far? Yeah, your favorite so far. No doubt the food. I mean, all the different stalls and stuff. <laughs> unreal. I bet the talent show. All the talent. <laughs> Nate definitely had a point though. The food was so dank. Everything was so fresh and so good. It was a little odd visually at first, but if you were feeling adventurous, your taste buds definitely thanked you. There was even like this sick formal dinner for all the athletes the night before the meet. The food and drinks were plentiful, and it was an awesome opportunity to get to know the international athletes a little bit better. Next day was the big day, the day we were all waiting for. Jump day! So we headed back over to the school, we got warmed up around the grounds, and we got ready to let it rip. This is Natalie Yui, who represents the Philippines, and this is her attempt at a new Filipino national record. Unfortunately, the bar was not feeling too loving that day. second to get going because you know some of us were fighting some pretty hefty jet lag but the energy from that crowd was amazing you couldn't help but be fired up just by being in the building and once we got rolling we all really got rolling This is Misaki Ajima of Japan, and this is his competition winning jump. 
after three hours of jumping, your boy ended up tying for second with Ernest Obiena of the Philippines while Masaki took first. But now that the meat was all said and done, it was time for another fantastically exotic meal. Um, so let's take a look at the plate that I have, okay? So we have a chicken heart right here. We have duck blood right here, yes, duck blood. Then we also have, oh, we have some cuttlefish. Oh yeah, the cuttlefish. <laughs> And we got some french fries. And there's some french fries. <laughs> we got some fishies. We got some fish tail. We got some quail eggs. Should be interesting. I'm excited. Okay. So, I'm ready to try my chicken heart here. I, I, don't, I don't know how this is going to... 3, 2, 1. All right, cool. You, you know, as I got in it, it wasn't as bad. All right, here we go. Next one. Cuttlefish. Just the tentacles. Pretty good. I like squid anyway. That's all. But now I have like the squid head. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's their, they're like cartilage. That's like their spine. Oh! I was gonna ask if that was in there too, but I figured. So I eat it or not? No. No, no, no. That's a spine. Alright. I was gonna ask about that next, but I figured, <laughs> I figured if there was no beef, they took that out too. <laughs> So it's gonna go great on Instagram. <laughs> Not bad. Tastes pretty good actually. On to the next thing. Now our final day there was an adventure day and was nothing short of an absolute treat. We started the day off with a peaceful little walk through town to find some breakfast in the morning. After that, we piled everyone onto the bus for a day tour of a few of the local spots. That's one of the athletes, Philippe. Thank God he was there to be our translator and tour guide. We got so much more out of all the different stops because of him. Dude, this is wild. It's like, dude, yeah, it like drops down from the tree up. Our first stop was an earthquake research facility. This site had been devastated by an earthquake years ago but has since become a research and learning center for people to better understand the massive power of the earthquakes that threaten the area. stop was definitely my favorite stop. We got to explore some of the area's incredible temples, getting a taste of the breathtaking artwork and the rich, deep-rooted culture of this amazing country. The vastness of these temples was humbling to say the least, and the scale and intricacy of the sculptures and art were astonishing. Again, it was so awesome having Phil there to be our teacher for the day. That dude is an open book, just bursting with knowledge. Throughout this day, actually throughout this entire trip, I constantly found myself in a profound state of gratitude. 
grateful for the opportunity to fly across the world to pole vault. <laughs> I was grateful for the opportunity to experience a culture that is so completely and refreshingly different than my own. I was grateful to be surrounded by lush landscapes on a gorgeous day. <laughs> I was grateful to see Thomas Wexton do a sick backflip in a temple. <laughs> but more than anything, I was grateful that this wild, unspoken bond we share as pole vaulters almost instantly turned a bus of over 30 competitors, strangers from different corners of the globe, into a group of friends, just eager to take in all that this trip had to offer. But our adventure was far from over. After exploring what the lush countryside had to offer, we made our way back to Taipei, the capital of Taiwan, to prepare to fly home that night. But we had a few hours before our flights, so Whoa, naturally shit. we used every second to adventure a little bit more. Thanks to Phil again, we were able to navigate the subway to Taiwan's tallest building for a skyline view. <laughs> so as the sun was setting below the buildings, we had time for one last adventure. So we decided to check out Taipei's world famous night markets. And let me tell you, it was like walking straight into a Studio Ghibli movie. The street food sizzling, the neon lights buzzing, the ebb and flow of people like fish in a stream of concrete and metal. This off the wall storefront even let you fish for your own shrimp. Then they'd fry them up and serve them to you in a little to go bag. So obviously, Jax Lawyers and I had to try our hand. And you keep going until it's thick breaks. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, dude, we're just gonna get you a whole meal. <laughs> Alright. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Oh, dude. Grab it. Pull it out, pull it out. Yeah! <laughs> now, in the midst of all this, I was trying to think of the perfect souvenir that would always remind me of this incredible first international pole vault experience. Now, maybe getting a spur-of-the-moment pole vault tattoo in a back alley tattoo shop might not have been the best idea in theory. But hey, I love it, I don't regret it one bit, and I would 10 out of 10 do it again. Every time I look at it, it reminds me of this amazing time and the surreal gratitude that filled my heart. So, after our fun in the city, it was time to get ourselves home. And that includes navigating a foreign airport with a bunch of pole vault bags. Now, before you even ask, yes, it's a massive inconvenience to hike these things around everywhere because each bag weighs about 50 to 60 pounds. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but when it's stretched across 16 to 17 feet, it can get a bit hectic to say the least. But hey, we're used to it by now. What a guy. What a guy. What? Cole Randall Walsh. Shut up. Walsh. Shut up. In my bright eyes when you're near. The fluttering I feel in my chest when you are here. I can't explain this kind of love. It pulls me to you. I want it. I can't get enough. So share this precious. So we said our goodbyes and parted ways with our new friends. And the only thing we had left to say was. Shishi Taiwan. Shake, 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 shake,